You guys, I got an iguana. Yep. Little one. Oh. Check it out right there. He's sleeping right in the crux oh, of that nice. tree. You see him? Yeah, he really sticks out. Oh, no, wait, it's not. It's a night and all. It's a Cuban night and all. Holy cow, I've never caught one of these before. That's not an iguana? No. You got a shot on him? Yeah. Go for it, see if you can get it. Oh, nice. Shoot, I got the back, I got the back, it's back of his leg. He's in his vines. Ah! I got him, I got him. There we go! Woo! Nice! Look at that! Wow! Awesome that grab. <laughs> is a Cuban night and all. I have never, oh man, I'm stuck in these thorns. Holy mackerel! Now, this is an invasive species here in South Florida. I thought it was an iguana. As you can see, their backside, oh, 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 no, no biting, no biting. The backside, just hanging down like that in a tree, looks just like the green iguana. But if you take a good look at that head, it looks like a green anole on steroids. Look at that dewlap. Woo! Whoa. That is pretty crazy. Now, you hear the name Cuban nut anole, and you think to yourself, oh, well, he's probably really active at night. Actually, this is a diurnal species, so I caught him sleeping right now up in that tree. If this was during the day, he would be moving much, much quicker. Now, you notice the head kind of looks like the head of a chameleon. Now, these lizards are from Cuba and are invasive here in South Florida. What these anoles are out here hunting for is pretty much anything they can come across. Very opportunistic, but they primarily feed on other lizards. And their tongue does stick out, but it can't shoot out like a chameleon, and it is very sticky. It's almost like there's glue on the tip of it. How cool is that? And he's not too keen on biting. Oh, nope, yes he is. Ouch. Wow, those teeth are super sharp. I've been putting my tip of my finger on his tongue and he didn't want to bite me. But if I put my finger sideways into his mouth, that is a different story. And he is definitely latched on. <gasps> wow, he bites harder than the collared lizard does. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? Oh yeah, ah, oh, that hurts. All right, I'm gonna just kind of, ah! Oh. <laughs> oh man, I did not think that he was gonna bite me. I was actually gonna show you guys. Look how non-prone to biting this lizard is. And now he's, ah, ooh, yeah, latched to my finger. And I think you got a shot of those little teeth, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, oh man, they are sharp. And I have fire ant bites all over my fingers right now. And he is chomping down on those. <laughs> ah, okay, let go. I think he likes the aloe vera. Oh, oh, ah, jeez. <laughs> Man, look at that mark he put in my finger. He shot me good. Okay, let's take a look at the skin on this lizard. And you can see that it's very bright green, absolutely beautiful, but it's kind of matte as well, which is how we were able to spot this lizard amongst all the shiny leaves. Our flashlight beams just kind of bounced right off of him and he stood out like a sore thumb. But he feels like suede. This is actually one of the softest lizards I think I've ever pet. These lizards are excellent climbers. I'm gonna turn them around like this for you and let's take a look at those feet. Now they do have claws, but one really interesting unique feature that this lizard also has is pads on the bottom of its toes like a gecko. And that's why when I was trying to grab him out of the vines, he was able to hold on so well. And each one of these little claws is like a fish hook. Can you see that? Which makes it the perfect predator in any treetop environment. Well, how cool is that? My first time ever catching the Cuban night and all. Very awesome. I'm Caddy Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I got my finger stuck in the mouth of a collar lizard. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Holy cow, all right, um, whoa, those teeth are super sharp. 